uh, I'm Chris Rhodes, uh, uh, BD specialist here. Um, I've got uh, Ryan, he's one of our uh, senior uh, curriculum developers, and uh, we're going to take you through the uh, the Utah course uh, course launch. Uh, so we're going to give you basic uh, course overview, uh, and then uh, the the modules and the CTE pathway, and then we have some we'll have some time for a Q and A uh, at the end. If you have any questions during the uh, the webinar, uh, you can uh, post them in the uh, Q and A. The uh, just click the Q and A. Um, icon down at the bottom, and uh, we will uh, answer your question as best we can. So if you need a uh, a CodeHS account, um, you can go to codehs.com slash sign up, and that will get you uh, into, uh, that'll get you a free account uh, with, with CodeHS to access these resources. Uh, so if you're not familiar with our uh, product, our platform, uh, we are a comprehensive uh, platform uh, for teaching computer science. Uh, we offer K-12 opportunities um, for uh, computer science curriculum. Uh, we are completely web-based. Uh, there's no plugins, there's no software, there's no nothing uh, in addition to just a regular web browser and internet connection. Um, and we provide uh, professional development for teachers uh, teacher tools, resources, things like that to help uh, teachers be successful in uh, leaving their uh, computer science classrooms. Um, we provide, our platform provides uh, the opportunity for instant feedback, um, uh, collaborative work in real time. Um, you can uh, get, you can communicate with your students on all of their activities. You can track their time. Uh, and there's a wealth of tools that are available for um, for the teachers as they are uh, teaching the content. And again, it is all uh, web-based, so there's nothing additional uh, to install as long as you have a web browser and an internet connection, you have uh, access to our platform. And so uh, I'm going to uh, turn it over and um, uh, we will go over the uh, the Utah specific uh, course options. Great, awesome, thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to introduce this course, uh, the Utah Exploring Computer Science course. So uh, let's start with a course overview here uh, at the top level. Um, Utah Exploring Computer Science is a one semester beginner level high school course. It has an estimated of 75 contact hours. Of course, depending on your student experience, that will vary slightly. And as a survey course, uh, students will explore the basics of programming, computer ideas, physical computing, cybersecurity, web design, and artificial intelligence. So they'll get a great overview of the computer science landscape in this semester course. And uh, most importantly, being a Utah official course, this is 100% aligned to the Utah Exploring Computer Science Standards, which we'll talk about. So looking at the modules and content in this course, the course starts with our uh, Exploring Code with Kara module. And this is a world in which students will learn um, basic JavaScript and starting with sequencing and then getting into control structures in a simplified graphical interface. So I just want to show a couple examples here. So this is the one of the first programs that they create. And uh, students will write, uh, they'll learn a series of commands that our Carol the dog can follow uh, in order to pick up the yellow tennis balls and end in the purple square. So when we run this, they can see that sequence of commands being executed. So that's where students start. And then by the end of the module, students will be able to apply different control structures, um, looping, conditionals, functions, and they have a very similar task to pick up the tennis balls, but the world is more complicated and there's a couple worlds that they their code has to be able to work for. And so again, we'll see kind of similar result. So it's a, it's a great starting uh, point for students, and they really get into JavaScript, but in a simplified way. 
students uh, follow that up uh, by getting into some computing ideas. So they learn about what makes a computer a computer and the inter internal, external components and kind of how everything fits together in that sense. Um, and then students will also uh, learn about how computers process information and uh, encode information. Uh, so something that's really important and often unknown uh, for students. And the third module, students then combine kind of both of those topics into a physical computing with the micro bit. So they apply the programming um, knowledge that they learned in the first module and the idea about uh, physical components in the second and use the micro bit uh, to create some interactive programs. So here's one example in our while loops lesson where students uh, be able to write some code, send it to the micro bit, and uh, the micro bit will actually be able to respond to that interaction. And there's a great simulation that this works for as shown here, but also if they have the devices, they can upload it to their actual physical devices. So a cool application of the programming they've been learning. All right, and looking at then the next three lessons, uh, or modules. So they get into cybersecurity and they learn about uh, their digital footprint, their personal data, personal data security, um, and some of the essentials of cybersecurity, cyber attacks, and um, cyber attack prevention. So a good foundation of really anyone who spends a lot of time online. And uh, following that up, students will then actually be able to develop some of their own websites using HTML and CSS styling, uh, sort of an application of, of what they were learning in the previous module. And so here's an example uh, in the CSS styling where they've been given a basic HTML page, and then they get to come up with and apply the CSS styling to make it you know, a little prettier. Um, and in the last module, students get to dive into some artificial intelligence topics. Uh, obviously, it's very present these days. And so they learn about what artificial intelligence is. They get to see and work with and interact with a lot of the uh, tools that are out there um, and applications. And then they'll learn more about machine learning, what's actually happening behind the scenes and then get some practice with some uh, different machine learning um, models. So uh, one example, they'll be using the um, Google's Teachable Machine, where they actually train this machine using supervised learning to detect two different types of animals. Um, and so they um, can get in and, and try that out. And then they also get to um, learn about reinforcement learning, which is more of a trial and error type of machine learning. And so they learn about this grid world and then they get to play an interactive game where they're this gray robot and they get to move through the world and kind of learn through rewards and penalties what an effective path to this yellow square might be. So this is all reinforcement learning trial by error. So it's a very hands-on course uh, they're in their programming, they're learning about um, some more conceptual topics and uh, get to apply a lot of it. Um, so I mentioned it is 100% aligned to the Utah um, Exploring CS standards. It fits in nicely to the, uh, these are the four pathways in the Utah CTE, computer science and IT pathways. Um, and this course is an explorer course for all four of these pathways. And that's one of the foundational courses in each of those pathways. So um, depending on what your school is offering or um, what students are interested in, this is a great foundational course that then branches off into a variety of um, yeah, options. And so that's the main overview of the course and what I have to show you. And let's see if there's any questions and answers. Doesn't look like there is at the moment. So 
Um, we'll just mention some other resources uh, and you can always reach out with your questions. Um, we have great opportunities for teachers in becoming a CodeHS certified educator, um, earning CodeHS micro-credentials, and we have some great ways to interact with us as well. We have a Facebook educators group and uh, we're on social media. So there are a lot of ways to reach out and um, interact. And we do have some upcoming uh, summer webinars. And so in a few days, we have teaching cybersecurity and then um, getting started with CS in middle school uh, the next day after that, along with a new game development and Unity course we're launching. And then we have um, in early August a webinar and collaborating with AI and teaching game development in Unity. So a lot's going on this summer. We hope to see you in uh, additional webinars and you can register if you go to codehs.com slash free PD and you will see all of these PDs um, so that you can register and be a part of them. Cool. So uh, if you're interested in CodeHS and want to learn more, you can go to codehs.com slash learn more and you'll be able to learn more and uh, reach out and contact us. Great. Well, thank you.